Hello everyone and welcome to the 132nd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out in Stormworks. Now before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the SS Baglan. This is a cargo paddle steamer ship. Now, top speed around 18 knots, a uh, range around 430 kilometers, uh, and looks really cool. Apparently, there's a fully detailed interior on there. Uh, so, yeah, let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the panel steamer, you can definitely tell it's a panel steamer. You can see the big panels on either side there. Uh, looks like we've got the funnel here in the middle. Uh, cranes for cargo on either side. Okay, uh, let's go and jump on this. So at the back here, looks like we've got some life rafts, just in case. Now, apparently this is completely sinkable, so you can sink it, which means this is quite useful to have all of this, where you can obviously have a little life raft. Emergency locker in here, just in case of emergencies of course uh we can go down what do we have down here so aft castle uh looks like what storage little light in here galley okay oh that's pretty cool get this light on that's just a little screen with a, a clock oh that's pretty cool okay what else do we have a kitchen inside here let's get the light on for the kitchen looks like a stove okay cool so quite a lot of uh Little detailing I like it I really do let's carry on through the ship so we've got the big cargo area which looks like you can open it up Ooh, nice as a really large cargo area nice okay cool and then we can use the crane of course to move things let's go up a level oh so here's the pistons or the steam Ooh, yeah we'll need to check that out so let's go into a side here so deck house Oh, we need to get some lights on if we can possibly. Must be a key switch or something. There's a map room in here. Oh, okay. Let's check this room out first. So we've got a little map room with a map table. We've got a little radio machine. Oh, we can also do the sinking here if you want to. Okay. Uh, okay. Captain's quarters, game with another clock in it. Okay, let's go down here. There must be a way to turn the lights and things on in a few seconds. We've got the telegraph, which can be controlled here. Main breaker equipment, lighting. Again, let's go down another level. The key switch somewhere. Coal bunkers. We got the firebox. Coal bunkers. No lights yet. Still haven't seen any switches for lights. Bilge pumps. Cargo area. Okay. Let's go down here. Maybe there's a light switch down here. Oh, this is another cargo area. Okay. Well guess we're going to be doing this by torch at the moment until we can find everything so we need to open up this and we need to light the boiler okay so that's going to take a while obviously to get lit up uh we don't need to do anything else and apparently this can all just stay open and good coal bunker there and you can obviously drop some more coal and put it in there if you need to that is cool okay let's go up another level so we do have the telegraph but we won't use that just yet uh, I still didn't see any key switches for lights and things. I definitely can see some lights. Just don't know where the button is or something to turn it on. Okay, cool. So let's go up another level. What do we have up here? So some seats. Looks like some flares. Uh, we can carry on through. Looks like we've got some areas in the front there. And then we can go into the pilot house. Got a GPS uh, autopilot system if we want. Uh, here's the interior lights. Exterior lights. Nav lights port anchors and that's pretty much about it okay cool now we've done that let's go back down because now we can actually see what's going on inside our area here so we go in here and uh we should have some coal and things and we can obviously do the telegraph if we want to so increase and you can see the piston moving oh that's cool look at that I think I'm on max. No, we still got a lot more telegraph if we wanted. Are we actually moving though? We are! 
We're moving. Let's go up. <laughs> Let's see this. Look at that. And we're moving. So cool. We got a bell. We got a whistle. And we got the telegraph. Now, what is our current telegraph? Oh, wow. So we can still go way up. 0 0.8 and 1. And our speed? Hmm, not bad. So apparently 18 knots top speed, which we're pretty much at right now. And that's not bad at all for paddle steam. And you can see that piston there. Oh, that is cool. If only we had real ones in Stormworks. That is really cool. I love it. I think it's a great little paddle steamer. Really nice. Obviously, a little GPS waypoint system if we want it. Uh, and then, as I said earlier, downstairs is where we have the option for... We have the option here to do uh, dynamic syncing. So we could do like instant sync, which is two. And I think now we're literally going to start syncing, guys. Uh, and that's when we would probably want to get to the life rafts and things. But let's go and have a look. We should start syncing. I think it's probably opened. You can see, I think there's some hatches that it's gone opened here. So if we were to stop this, you probably see it start to sync very quickly. But uh, yeah, a lovely creation. I love the detailing. It's not over the top. It's really simple. Lag, it actually didn't lag too much. Performance wise, it's actually done really well, uh, considering there are quite a few pivots and things on it. But uh, yeah, lovely creation. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the MY Phoebe. This is a 26 meter motor yacht that also includes a jet ski on it. Now, a top speed around 25 knots, cruise speed around 17, uh, and just really nice looking. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the yacht, man, this looks really cool. I love the use of the wedges and the shapes. Just overall looks really good. You can see we've got the little jet ski at the back there. It looks like it's got a little crane there too. Um, some surfboards. Nice. Let's go and jump on this and let's see what we have. So I just want to have a quick look underneath in terms of the hull shape. So hull shape looks okay. Looks like it is rounded. It looks like we've got tons of lights and things there too. Uh, there's also, I'm guessing what would be a ladder that goes and folds there. Okay. Surfboards here at the back. Go up to the next area. Uh, looks like we've got some diving equipment and just some general equipment here. Uh, we've got a door that goes and opens up. Okay, it actually folds up like that. Uh, we can walk around the deck. You can see all these paint blocks all along the floor. Got a little sunbed area here. Cool. So let's go inside. Uh, so inside here we'll get the lights on. Okay. Nicely detailed. I like it. Go through here another door. Uh, we have another door, which I'm guessing goes downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Nice, a little angled staircase. Very cool. A light switch down here. Looks like kitchen area. Bedroom. Oh, one bedroom at least. Uh, what else do we have in here? So a little stove that we can turn things on. Okay. Bridge, crew area, and then we've got the engine room. So engine room looks like what? Uh, aircraft engines or medium engines. Okay. Don't need to control anything from here. I think we go upstairs and do everything upstairs. Uh, can we get the light off maybe before we carry on? There we go. Uh, cool, so nicely detailed down here, I like it. It's very detailed. What's down here? Bathroom and master bedroom. Ooh. Okay, nice. Paint blocks, the detailing is so good. Little mirror here, I can even see myself in it. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go up, we're gonna turn the lights off. Head upstairs here. And we've got the bridge, okay. Now before we check out the bridge, I do wanna go upstairs. So where do I go upstairs? Ah, oh, up here. Okay. So let's go upstairs. What do we have up here? So cables and hoses if we need it. We've got stabilizer and this is for the cranes. We'll check that in a few seconds. Refueling pumps, a little area here to sit down. We also have a fly bridge and some more equipment. Very cool. Okay, let's check out this crane and this little jet ski here. Now the crates did say that this is a heavily modified version of my jet ski. Uh, which is very fine. I don't mind anyone doing that. Something's just gone and turned on, maybe a generator somewhere. So let's see how this works. So stabilizer on. We got up and down. 
we can rotate this right I guess and then we can connect it so we need some hoses or some cables so we'll do a rope connect it over there and over there and how do we do we need to disconnect this from the floor maybe not I don't know let's see so crane up oh there we go uh crane right Not the most elegant of solutions uh crane down I guess and then winch down so we'll just keep on doing winch down and there we go in the water fantastic and then you can in theory jump down and disconnect the rope let's go here and then disconnect the rope anchor there we go and then back in the seat here one is for engine and then we should be able to drive this now i don't know that modular engine don't know what's going on with that but okay let's go forwards there we go <laughs> look at that little jet ski fantastic yeah that modular engine doesn't sound too happy that's fine i don't even know how many cylinders it's probably a one or two cylinder little modular engine okay and in theory you could just reconnect it and then put it back on your put it back on your yacht i'm not going to uh, but let's see how this yacht actually drives so we're going to go up here let's put our crane back so crane winch up crane up rotate left stabilizer on and off okay let's go downstairs and let's see how this drives so straight into the bridge and what do we have here? So it looks like a screen of some sort. Reverse, throttle, autopilot, GPS, bridge systems, nav lights, hull lights, deck lights, thrusters. Ooh, that's going to be cool. Camera, map screen. Don't know what that is yet. Uh, engines. Now we can use the thrusters. Go left. And then we can go here and forward throttle. And there we go. Nice. Looks like it's really stable. This looks like we've got something here. I don't know what that is. Maybe for like refueling or something. Very smooth. We can switch from eco to speed. So that's quick. Nice. Nice little screens here with everything, battery, fuel, we got GPS, autopilot systems if we wanted. Little screen. I wonder if it's a navigation system or if it's just one GPS point at a time. Yeah, I think it's just one point at a time. Yep, one point at a time. Okay, cool. So a another lovely creation really cool the amount of detail on this is absolutely incredible like look at that really really good so well done to the creator and let's go ahead let's move on to the next one for the episode and moving on to the next creation we have a car stereo mark one an example so apparently this is a car stereo that you can add into your vehicle apparently it's got a couple songs that include in what, seven songs uh so let's go and swanson and see how it works and spawning in the creation. So this is just the example. I'm guessing the mic controller is somewhere underneath here. Let's go and turn this on. So we've got a cat that comes up. Now we've seen this before. Okay, so we've got what, skip. We've got play, stop, pause. Uh, now playing nothing. Okay, so let's play. Oh, skip, there we go. So Mary. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm guessing it's just buzzers and things that are making you do that. And a bunch of logic and lure. So stop. Play. Pause. Ah, oh, cool. Very cool. Really nice so you can actually add that into your creation and it's nice decent size too doesn't take a lot obviously i don't know how much logic stuff there is underneath here I'm guessing a bit but not that much but that's really cool i like it probably going to see this in a lot of creations all of a sudden uh, but yeah really cool creation let's go ahead and let's move on to the next one for the episode and moving on to the next creation we have the unscd 
777TC Pelican dropship. This is the dropship from Halo. And man, does it look absolutely gorgeous from the workshop. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, man, this thing looks epic. Like really cool from here. So it looks like we've got some missiles here on that way. Oh, that's cool. Got some lasers, looks like some drop tanks, a uh, gimbal camera. Okay, this is really cool. I like the idea of this to have these different um, modules that you can add on. Like this is a gimbal camera module. The other one I think is maybe fuel. Uh, a radar. Oh, wow. This is actually a radar one. Ooh, I love that idea. Really cool. I'm guessing everything is getting transferred also via the new pylons. Really cool. Okay, so a little access hatch here for jet engines. Looks like we got another access hatch here for refueling. Uh, re this is for repairing. Oh, we even got a car on the back. Look at all the pylon attachments. So cool. Okay, we're definitely going to have to check out that. Uh, inside. Okay, let's go inside this thing. So we're just going to jump there. Looks like we've got cabin lights and heaters. We've got push button. That's for a winch system of some sort. Okay. And then in here, it looks like med bays, uh, equipment or parachutes on the floor here, just in case you need them for something. Okay. I don't know how to close that though. I uh, got another light. Door to go in here. What's in here though? Can't really. Ew, it's a little bit hard to get in there. Uh, I'm not too sure what's in there. Looks like there's another hatch over there. So maybe just like service hatches, possibly. We've got all this where we can connect up to our winch system. Oh, cool. I'm going to get some of these lights off just for now. There we go. Uh, then we come into the bridge. And looks like we've got some type of screens here. And then we've got, I'm guessing, the main driving stuff here. Get our main switch on. That's a lot of screens and a lot of jet engines. Okay, we'll leave that running. I want to check this car out. So, do we drop it from here? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we drop it from inside the main cabin area. So, we'll go back inside. Okay. So, inside we've got a gimbal camera, a radar, and radio. And then over here we've got... Let me just get a throttle up a bit. Main switch is on, we've got a large keypad, small keypad, AP course, navigation systems, waypoints, looks like a radar, um, artificial horizon, we've got release and arm master safe, and then a bunch of lights and things. Okay, I'm going to throw it up a bit. Okay, we need to disable the parking brake also, wherever that is. Oh, there you go. So parking brake is off. Uh, we also need to activate hover mode, so that's one. Okay, so we're in hover mode now. Cruise and hover, okay. What else do we have that we can do? Um, Cool, that's pretty much about it. And then we can obviously go into cruise mode in a few minutes. But I love the little screens, they're so nice. we got position lights, we got anti-collision, formation, and strobe taxi runways, landing, night mode. Oh, that changes all that. Oh, that's cool. Landing gear, which we can go and fold away. Cabin lights, aux battery, nothing, nothing, and cabin heater. Okay, cool. So pretty straightforward. Um, now I'm guessing this is... So that's a weapon system. So we've got rocket pod, rocket pods. And you can actually select what you want and you can release. That five of the missiles? Not yet. Maybe two? There we go. Two was it? There we go. Cool. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we got cargo crane up and done. And then we got release cargo. So I'm guessing this is it here. So let's release our cargo, which is six. <laughs> there we go. So now we have that. I'm actually going to bring this thing down. I can't actually adjust the throttle. So let me just go and... Turn that off for two seconds. Probably should have put landing gear on, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. There we go. So that should deploy our landing gear. We can now go down. Cool. 
Uh, I want to go and check out that little buggy. So that's really cool, the little buggy just goes on top there. It's a pretty straightforward little buggy, it looks like. Let's go inside it. Got an engine start, parking brake lights, nothing. Okay. And we got a little buggy that we can drive around with. Very cool. And then when you want to, you can bring it back here and you can actually bring it back onto your onto your cargo ship if you wanted to. You would just have to lower this stuff down. Okay, that is cool. I like it. Uh, let's go in back inside here. Jump up. Back into here. Back in here. Engine back on. Uh, now we're going to try out how well this actually flies. So we can probably go up in our throttle, landing gear off. There we go. And you can see it just hovers off there, which is fine. And what else do we have at the top? Oh, we got aerial refueling. So if you have a probe connector. Nice. It looks like we've got tons of flares and things on top there too. Access hatches to go into all these jet engines and things. Nice. Somehow we damaged something there. Don't know how, what happened there. Uh, cool, let's switch into cruise mode. Ooh. Very quick. Oh, look at that. Look at the back piece there. That is cool. Now, I'm guessing this is alt hold is this. So, I'm just going to enter in 500 and let's see what happens. Or maybe it's just current alt. Maybe current. AP master. AP course, so you would go and enter in a waypoint, which I've got. Yep, and it flies to that course. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I'm going to turn all this off, and let's go up here. Cool, I like it. It is really cool. The crate has done a fantastic job with the art side, and this looks so nice. So, another lovely creation. Let's go and move on to the next one, and the last one for this episode. And moving on to the next creations, we have the SA-235. Now, this is going to be a utility and transport aircraft. Now, it's got a top speed around 235 knots. Uh, along with that is cruise speed, 140 knots. Uh, and along with that, it's also got some really cool cockpit designs. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, nice looking. It's got a nice little shape to it. Looking here at the front, definitely got a nice shape. It's going to have a little walk around. Seems like we've got some standard window pieces. Uh, some looks like possibly the custom ones at the top or XML edited ones at the top there. Okay, some nice big landing gear. Big ramp door at the back. Guess it would open up. Okay, let's see if we can get inside it. Don't see much else on the outside. So we've got a door here. So this goes and rotates out for us. Looks like on a double hinge system. Uh, and then we can jump up. So we've got some handles to pull ourselves up into the creation. Close the door off. Uh, and then we have the interior. Okay. Can we get some lights? Yes, we can. Some main lights. We've got some back lights. Looks like got some winch systems if we want them. Some equipment in the ceilings. Okay. General. General detailing here. It looks like up and down level. Okay. Cool. And up. Nice. I like that. Little panel there. Okay, cool. Some more equipment and things. Uh, let's go up into the bridge. So we've got a door to go up into the cockpit. Oh, bridge. Uh, we've got some extra jump seats here. We've got pilot and co-pilot. Always nice to see people when they label that. So you know exactly what seat to get into. Uh, what else do we have? So it looks like a bunch of controls and things for APUs and startups and things. Uh, so we'll try and follow up his following up procedure. for this or their following up procedure. So apparently we need to get our main batteries on. So we need to find the main batteries are there we go uh we also need to get the main key on which is this one over here i uh, turn the apu fuel pump and apu on so fuel pump and apu on cool we got that on uh fuel pumps left wing and central okay so right left central circulating uh central okay we'll get circulating on why not okay uh what else do we need Hydraulic pumps, okay, one and two. Cool. Uh, engine pumps, we might as well get those on two. We might need those. Turn on the lights as we need them. We don't. So we've got landing lights, strobe lights, main cockpit lights, taxi lights. 
beacon lights, tail lights, position lights, cockpit backlights if we want that. Uh, engine 1 and 2. We also have a generator that we can go and throw on later on if we want it. Uh, okay, so next thing we need to do is increase our throttle to 0 0.4. So I'm guessing over here. That's pitch trim. My apologies. Uh, there we go. So engine throttle. 1.4 and 1.4. Okay, so we've got that on. Turn engine 1 and 2 on. 1 2. Wait for that to start up. Uh, and then we should be pretty much good. We need to get the generators on uh, once the engines are up and running. Prop pitch to 1, which is over there. It's already on 1, so that's fine. Uh, we can get our generator running. Generator running. Happy days. Uh, we can probably get the APU off. Don't need it on now. Cool. Uh, and some nice little screens. So we've got some altitude stuff, roll stabilizers, little engine screen over here. It looks like an artificial horizon and a compass heading. Cool little MFD system if we want it with a map screen on it there. Okay, so you can just go and move around the screen there. Nice. Tug like engines. We got throttle, pitch, roll, and little camera screen. Okay, cool. Very nice. Uh, what do we have here? So this is... Not too sure what this is. This is rad, com, and log. So maybe radio stuff? Yeah, maybe radio stuff there. Okay, cool. Uh, what else do we have? Flaps down, up, cockpit heater, illumination flares, radar if we want it. Where did we get the radar though? One, ah, there we go. Radar's there. Cool. Frequency, cockpit lock, pitch trim. Okay, so let's get flaps down. Yeah, about that much for takeoff. We've got quite a short runway today, so we'll see how that works. Uh, parking brake, we're going to get that off, and I guess we can just throttle up a bit. So that should increase this throttle. It is. Cool. And we can go and just taxi along here for a bit. So it looks pretty good. What about steering on the ground? Yeah, that looks very nice too. He's done a great job with the wedges here at the back and getting that nice shape there. Looks really cool. All right, cool. So let's go and just taxi along here. Roll up a bit. One. Up and down is actually breaking. So used to having up and down and throttle, but that's fine. Just go and get ourselves lined up here, throttle down a bit, throttle down, and then I think up for braking, yes. Okay, so we're almost in line here. We're now going to get our throttle all the way to max and release braking now. Cool. And we should just lift. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice. And we're up. The flaps are doing the work there. Uh, and that's why I had them on. So flaps back up to zero, and you can see now we're leveling out. Uh, landing gear, do we have a landing gear option? There we go, landing gear up. Fold it away, there we go, that's, I'm guessing it's folds or, yep, folds up, very nice. All clean, and it's all gone. Cool. Sensitivity looks quite good. Uh, let's get a roll stabilizer on. We also got a target alt we can set so let's say like 500 and that would be alt hold there I'm gonna fly up to 500 we can do a other an autopilot system which we can add in using is there a keypad somewhere I'm guessing maybe oh well maybe just press it on the screen and then you yes you do that and you can activate multiple I think multiple waypoints and let's try that it, ooh, that was very quick how it jumped. You see that, guys, how that was? Let me activate it one more time. Let me get something as reference. Uh, get this as reference and have a look. Uh, it jumped quite quickly. Okay, I'd like to see the creator maybe slow that process down so it doesn't jump quickly. Uh, you can see I like how it banks. It's doing a great job banking, but can you see how quick it went and rolled? I wonder if it's because I got my roll stabilizer on. Possibly. I guess we can try without it. Uh, let's just put a new waypoint. So like here. Let's clear this. 
Put a new waypoint. No, CMST still jumps quite a bit. Okay, well, it's not a big issue. It's just me nitpicking <laughs> on things. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's a cool little creation. Let's get it all stabilized back on. Very cool. I was a fly without any of the assistance on. If I roll now. Cool. Yeah, very nice. And actually even do complete barrel if we wanted to. Seems like it's very capable of doing that. Yeah. It's very well balanced. The crates balance this very well. Usually when you do that, if you're too heavy in the front or the back, it will start either pitching up or pitching down. So the crates has done a great job with that. Uh, really, really good. So yeah, a lovely little creation to end this episode off with. Really cool. You can probably get some stuff to airdrop in here too. So yeah, a lovely creation to end this episode off with. As always, guys, if you want to check out any of the creations that I've had a look at in this episode, I do leave them linked in the video description so you can go and give some love over to those creators. If you have enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. Also, smash that like button if you have. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon if you don't want to miss any of my future videos as soon as they get released. And until next week, we will see you then.